Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can create a Minecraft world in Blender by using the free add-on, yes it's free, uh, Minecraft world generator add-on for Blender. Uh, and before you can actually download it, it's on the Blender Market site. You just sign up for Blender Market. It doesn't cost you any money, money to do that. And then you just go to the link that I'll provide for you. And you click on purchase and they'll send you a zip file that you can download onto your computer. Don't unzip it. Uh, the installation process is still the same. Just go to edit, preferences, install, navigate what tool you've downloaded onto your computer. Click on install add-on. And then we type in mine. And here it is, put a check in the box and it's activated. And this is for the Blender 4 point series, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2. Only works in those versions of Blender and that's pretty much it. I'm using 4.1 myself. Uh, once it's in Blender installed, just it's on the right hand side of the UI of Blender in the toolbar and there it is. Uh, let's delete this cube here. All you have to do is press on create. Let's give it a few minutes, and there you go. It's right there. Now, I've, I've gone through this add-on, and it's pretty good in terms of making a world uh, based on Minecraft. Only problem are, or is, actually, is that you can only edit it here. You can't go in edit mode and do anything with it, because it doesn't, it doesn't work in edit mode. I'm going to press tab on my keyboard, and as you can see, nothing happens uh, you can only do all your editing here and for making a minecraft world it's great you can't animate anything either it just makes the world right now it's just in a plain viewport but it renders in eevee and in cycles um the animals don't move uh, but let's look at it in in eevee first let me click on this if it takes too long to render i'll stop the video and come back to you so you can see what it looks like in eevee but let me change some uh, world settings so we can see a little bit better. Make this a bluish color and click on that icon. Oh, that was pretty fast. Okay, that, it renders pretty fast in Eevee. You can see the textures on the sheep and the cows and the pigs. Uh, the textures on the grass. You got some PNGs for the bushes over here. And it renders better in cycles, but like I said, even cycles it renders in both. Um, to animate it in terms of having creatures move around, you would have to probably uh, delete the creatures. You can do all that stuff on the side panel. Animal density, you can decrease that. Let's decrease it. it makes it a little bit less. Okay, we got rid of all the animals by putting the density to zero. And you pull it up. Let's, let's go back to a, the basic viewport shading so we can just see what it does in terms of uh, the parameters here. We pull this back up a little bit. I have to just type in our parameters. So it takes a long time to um, show us what's going on here. But the higher you crank this up, the more animals there are. But like I said before, the animals aren't animated. So you would have to pr pretty much put the density of the animals on zero. That way there are no animals. And you would have to pretty much create the animals yourself and animate them. Same thing if you want people in here. But in terms of just the landscape, it's, it does a pretty good job. It, as you saw before, the, the trees are textured. The land's textured, the animals are textured. You're going to increase the area, make it bigger. Let's type in 30 here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, and it makes the world bigger. There's a little bit of spacing in there. You increase the, change the noise scale, the noise size, the seed. Once again, seed means variety, you know, in terms of the way you want the, the land displayed or, you know, put out there or displayed out there. Your acid density that changes here, you can change that there, your tree density. So you can change all these parameters here and just get very different variations of your Minecraft world. Let's type in 0.5 here. So yeah, for something that is a uh, freak and, you know, making this yourself in Blender, that's going to take, it's going to be a tedious process. You can do it, but it's going to take some time. So having this add-on to use to create a Minecraft world in Blender, it's uh, pretty helpful. And yeah, that's today's Blender quick tip, the Minecraft world generator in Blender that's free. 
So if you're into Minecraft, you want to make a Minecraft simulation, because I see that's kind of uh, been a bit popular on, on uh, YouTube for quite some time. You can just use this to make your Minecraft animations. And once again, thank you guys who've been watching the videos. I hope you've learned something from today's tutorial, the Minecraft World Generator. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.